Hello and welcome back guys. Today we are back with a new mock-up. As usual like any other weeks we have tried to bring something unique. So today our subject is a football jersey mock-up. So let's begin with it. But before that let me remind you to download the PhD file of this mock-up you can go and check in the link in the description box. Without further ado let's begin. First we will take the paint tool and by pressing control plus we will zoom in and then we will select the sh the t-shirt the upper part of the body all right only the cloth all right and then take the add anchor point tool and point out the curved areas all right like you do in other mockups it is very similar to those so follow the steps just the curved parts because this is the step where you make the curves prominent and the shape much more particular according to your need So once you are done, as you can see, I am also done. Uh, now I will teach you how you can cut out this selection. But before that, draw a rectangle and then we will convert it to the smart object. Before that, change the color if you want. By right clicking, convert to smart smart object then there are two options then that I will be teaching so method one is we will press control firstly we will uh, take the design and press it on the smart object I am just you know dropping any uh, design that I have selected for this case I'm just using a number and a, a sports name and all that. You can put in your logo, your uh, jersey number and everything. And then after you are done with the design, just save the design. And then as you see, it is updated in the main page. Now, for the selection method, the first one is, first we will distort this uh, smart object. We'll press Ctrl uh, T and adjust the size. All right. Uh, for this part, you can decrease the opacity just so it is easier for you to see. After doing distort and wrap, you can place them to the right points from where the cloth is starting and ending. And after that, wrap the smart object. this wrap will be around the uh, shape of the cloth that is uh, being used for the jersey it may be a shirt it may be, not a shirt actually it may be a t-shirt or a sandal or whatever now press control and select the shape all right this is a very easy method the other method is First, switch on the shape and then take add anchor point tool and while uh, this part is selected, the shape part is selected, we will, we will right click on the shape part and then there would be a little box popping up and we will press OK and then we will get the selection. These are the two methods for selection you can take any one of them and then after that we will select the smart object so as you can see uh, after you uh, press on mask the whole thing will take a shape of uh, the clothing now 
the there is this uh, you know borders and uh, rips of this uh, rims of this uh, t-shirt so for that we will be using other colors only now we will select this parts okay but to do only this part we will just select this part so after you see that we have selected the three uh, two sleeves and the uh, neck now by pressing control or by pressing shift we will select all these three uh, shapes and then we will merge the shapes now by pressing control select a shape and then take a solid color and after taking the solid color right click on it and then selecting them do create clipping mask then only it will get the shape now we will press control and the whole shirt that is there we will select that and then again we will take add anchor point tool and we will select the necessary parts then we will press ok and as you can see the whole thing is selected we will press ctrl j alright then you will see that there is a copy of this image now we will make two more copies of such Now the layer you got from uh, copying it, select them, select that particular layer and now you, got, you have to press Ctrl J and there will be two more copies and now name them as light, return and shadow and then we will go to the last layer, the very last layer and then we will convert it to multiply from normal and the second layer will be linear dodge add from normal all of them will be normal but we will change them and the and then by person control l we will uh, change the levels or you can uh, go to images and then adjustments and then you can change the levels I thought, I thought I So as you can see there is a light effect on this and then the third one we will go to screen we will convert it to screen from normal and then again by pressing ctrl l or by the same method you can just open the levels and adjust the levels according to your preference and once you complete all this you are done and then delete the unnecessary layers that are not necessary you can rename all these layers according to your preferences and then it will be done we will just change the colors of these layers so just you know that these parts are editable we will highlight them and then you can place your design and all that so that is for today we will be meeting uh, with the next video thank you for watching